how to delete your phantom wallet hello people welcome into this new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how you can delete your phantom wallet whether you're using your phone or you're using your browser now you gotta keep in mind that you can't delete your account in or sign out from the phantom wallet by the way i mean if you are into your phantom wallet in this case i am using my browser i'm gonna head into my passcode and if i want to sign out and use another wallet what i have to do is to select this three dots that are in here the three lines and i'm gonna select add connect wallet so i can import a new wallet or i can create a new one so i'm gonna generate a new wallet address and here it is this one says wallet number two so if i go back into the wallets here we have another wallet i can generate another one but i cannot sign out from here so what i can do is to lock my wallet or maybe just delete and remove this from chrome so if i remove this from chrome and i remove it right away i can't see it in my extensions and i have to download that again so i'm gonna download this again and add it into my extensions it's gonna pop up a new type of the phantom wallet that says that we have to create a new wallet or import one that we just already created so as you can see if i delete phantom from the extensions i have to put again my credentials or to recover the wallet so that's the only way that we can do that and if you are on your phone you have to delete the application and install it again and after that you go into i already have a wallet and you have to paste the secret recovery phrase that it was given to you the first time you create your phantom wallet now we can import here our wallet i'm going to select this one and it says that we have to create a new password in this case i'm going to select this one i'm going to agree to the terms of service and we're all done this is the only way that we can delete our wallet from the browser or our phone and if you want to retrieve that information again you have to download the application or the extension again so hopefully it was a very useful video for you guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this kind of wallets thank you for watching the video and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one